Hi guys, Lynn Votreiner here. Hope everyone is well and staying safe and following all the rules of our new pandemic world. Um, I'm hanging out in my backyard. It's so pretty outside today. Um, but I just wanted to check in because I get so many questions lately about what's happening with the housing market and I wanted to check in with you and let you know I've been studying up, I've been following The Economist and give you the latest update on what's going on in real estate. So let me start by saying things are looking good. We do not right now, as far as you know, the bottom falling out of the housing market, that's not gonna happen. We're not looking at that. We are looking at good news. There are three main reasons why we expect everything to continue to go fine as far as home sales go. Uh, number one, we are in a recession, that's true, and that will slow down some sales, but um, it also tends to lower interest rates. That's, that's what's happened in the past. His, historical data is showing us that interest rates drop during recessions. Um, we are fortunate enough right now, hi helicopter, <laughs> hi airplane. We're fortunate enough right now to already have really low rates, but this tells us that they'll probably stay there for quite a while. So things are looking there, good there on the interest rate front. Um, the second reason, inventory is still low. We are not looking at 2000, 2007, 2008, when there was a ton of inventory and everybody could get a loan and houses were flying like crazy and then everything cut off. Um, there is low inventory. We are matching up with buyers. We don't have a ton of buyers out there right now, but we have plenty to take this inventory and then some. Um, we're seeing days on market stay about the same as they were before COVID-19. And we're also seeing prices stay about the same as it was. So that shows us that things are pretty steady right there as, as up until right now. Finally, and this is what tells us things are going well for you know the, the near future. Thank you, millennials. You guys are awesome. I say that because this is the biggest generation that we've seen since the baby boomers and they are ready to buy houses, which means there will still be a lot of sales, a lot of buyers out there to maintain the current inventory and then some. Um, so there's gonna be a demand and when there's a demand, sales are good. So those are the three good reasons. Outlook is good. We're, we're in good shape. Don't, the, the sky is not falling, chicken little. We're gonna be okay. Now, if there's anything you need, real estate related or not real estate related, let me know if I can help you, okay? I'm here, I'm healthy, I'm social distancing, I'm staying at home, just like I'm supposed to. But I will be happy to drop stuff by your house or help you out with other things that you need. Finally, if you are thinking of buying or you're thinking of selling your home anytime in the near future, whether it's you know this week or six months from now, give me a call, let me know how I can help you and I will show you all the different ways that I can get your house sold faster and for more money than maybe anybody else can. Um, we are practicing all kinds of virtual sales techniques and marketing and we will keep you and your family safe while we do it, okay? Now you guys stay healthy, take care of yourselves, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for listening. Hi, Mabel. Oh, oh you're a mess. Oh. <laughs>